Howdy doody everybody, I am here with 2-6 today for a very special I'm video. I'm back! He is back, and today is the gold and silver Rathian Rathalos update in Monster Hunter Stories 2. And even though I've been a little under the weather the last few days, uh, I couldn't leave you guys hanging. We have, to, you know, this, I know you guys love that story stuff, and I'm not gonna uh, not be here to tell you guys about the spice, the cheese, the way to farm these monsters the best way possible, and everything else in the update that's sort of worth knowing about. And uh, we'll start off with the delivery quest, because, uh, 2 six. I know you love these delivery quests too, it's another free SR ticket, right? Yeah, what's the name of the delivery de quest though, Paradise? What's it called? It's quite corny. <laughs> it's a corny <laughs> request. It's a corny <laughs> request. Uh, you basically give some, I can't even remember what they're called, but I had like 300 of them and I don't even know the name of the item, so I'm sure you guys will have a lot of the uh, item as well. It's basically hand in five herbs and uh, you get a free SR ticket. I love it when they, when they add these in, it basically is just meaning that we don't have to farm bottle caps for at least one of those tickets, which I really, really like. Uh, they've also added in subquests for just killing Gold and Silver Wrath. That's not really anything too special. Uh, but there is something cool to talk about, which is the two Slay co-op quests for both Gold and Silver each respectively. But these are actually quite good for farming the parts for Gold and Silver Wrath Lost armor and weapons, because they are guaranteed to give you the, uh, the ruby, the gem, which is like the plus 10 point item. So I definitely recommend doing them for farming and... Uh, I actually got really lucky. We did a gold Rathian slay, and I got gold Rathian from it. So if you're wanting to farm parts, I recommend doing that because you'll get you get a guaranteed gem at the end, and you may even get a few eggs along the way for uh, both gold and silver, respectively. But let's talk about the new co-op explore quest two six. Tell us about the new co-op explore quest. So the new co-op explore quest is rare and subspecies den, and this den is probably the best way to get the monsters that you want as well a lot of the rare monsters that are coming recently are in this den and it is super easy but that's not what we care about what is in this den that we care about uh paradise gold and silver wrath the lost wrath again. this is e where we're at easy mode easy mm -hmm. mode <laughs> so you guys know that i hate when like getting the egg is gated behind like a very difficult fight and i know a lot of you guys hate it and every past update if there has been an easy way to get the egg i'd let you guys know about it because you know we're all about being efficient and fast with our gene farming here and essentially this uh rare subspecies den is incredibly good because all you have to do is go into it with an SR ticket. I think you could probably do an R ticket as well, but we know that SR has the best for the better rarer monsters and yeah. the, the rarer genes, of course, as well. So I recommend an SR ticket, go in, and then, of course, like any other explore quest, you're going to have three eggs before the boss at the end. Those three eggs have a pool of monsters. I'll pull up an image on screen so you can see every monster that can be included in it and the actual egg patterns uh this screenshot comes from will i am in the in our discord which you can join in the comment the pinned comment down below and as you can see both gold and silver rathian rathalos as well as molten tigrex and uh aroshi kirin are also like available in these three eggs before the end so what i recommend you do load in with an sr ticket with your uh silver wing or your regular nagakuga Go and viz and run from egg to egg, pick them up, picking them up. Uh, don't pick up more than three because you will probably have a fight. You know, pay attention to Navi Ru's text. I know we're all sick of listening to Navi Ru <laughs> at this point, but uh, he will actually tell you when the fight's about to happen. So try not to get the fight. Pick up all the eggs, cycle through them until you get the one that you want. Uh, I recommend going for both gold and silver Rathian Rathalos because they have some tasty genes, don't they? Yeah, definitely. The genes that they have are pretty up there and the stats on the monsters are very good as well. But we kind of deep dive into that over on my channel. So if you want to know more about how the monsters perform, spoiler, they're very good and you're going to want them. These are probably some of the <laughs> best monsters in the game. Then uh, head over to my channel and uh, we'll go in to detail with that so that you know exactly what you should kind of really be building for as well. But... 100%. Did you tell the people to just leave before the end? Well, this is it. This is the, this is the <laughs> cheese, okay? So you get the three <laughs> eggs. Yeah. And uh, to be honest, we've had pretty good luck on our runs. Like, yeah. I feel like each SR ticket is going to give you at least one or two of the eggs mm. that you want, whether it's a Roshi Kirin, Molten Tigrex, Gold Rathian, or Silver Rathalos. You're looking at 
at least one or two. And there is obviously RNG involved, but yeah. we did do a few runs, and it, I don't think we had a single run where neither of us got, mm. like, at we got at least one, and on a good run, we got two or three. So yeah. I got both uh, once... mine in one run, so you can get it. Oh, yeah, he's rubbing quickly, it in, so, yeah. guys. I had to do, like, three runs. You know, those all those times, yeah? <laughs> Guys, every single time that we've done one of these videos, Paradise has got his egg, like, first go, first try. Today was basically my go at it, and it made me feel so good, because you had to go in, like, three more times to go get it, and I was just sitting there, I was like, oh yeah, I'm just helping you, it's fine, it's okay. <laughs> he got it's his egg in the end. He got, it, he got his egg in the end. <laughs> I did get it in the end. But once you've got the eggs, just literally open up the menu and return to Bobby, okay? Don't yeah. go to the boss at the end. That's just wasting time, to be quite honest. Just leave and then rejoin and repeat. I will say, though, if you do fight the, the, the boss at the end, uh, then the main nest at the end actually is guaranteed to have one of the uh, rare subspecies monsters. So it is a better, like, egg pile to loot, but you will have to spend, you know, at least, like, five minutes, depending on how, how yeah. like, strong your party is, maybe ten minutes fighting that boss and that's just going to slow you down overall so i really really recommend loading with the sr pick up all three cycle through till you get what you want return to lobby rinse repeat because gold and silver wrathy and wrathalos both have really good genes i i think that you're probably going to want up to six of each of them right to duplicate yeah. their good moves yeah so this is by far the best way to do it you're going to use a few sr tickets on obviously but uh you will be able to do it way faster than some of the previous like this is this is like some of the best monsters they've added in mm. and this is some of like the easiest way to farm them which yeah, i really definitely. like uh but outside of that i do have a few tips for you guys when you do decide to farm farm them for their weapons and their armor because that silver rathalos armor actually looks pretty sick right yeah definitely the silver uh, rathalos armor has decent skills and i want to say it's like massively great but it just looks awesome, right? So you're gonna to wanna to farm out these monsters so that you have enough to get it. And it's quite um, generous with the quest that you actually go in to actually slay the monster anyway. So you get rubies and you get uh, parts as well. So I got a <laughs> ruby from just the quest drops and a ruby from the quest rewards. But how do we fight them, Paradise? What, what, what's the little cheeses that we found out that wouldn't suspect when it would necessarily work on these monsters because they kind of are subspecies or deviants basically so just a we reminder need the crash people. course tips okay yeah gold rathian let's start off with gold yeah. it's going to be a speed attack type so you want to go in with tech to begin with mm. when it enrages it's going to go power so you want to go speed you know so yeah. it starts off speed it enrages to power and if it's flying it can be tech yeah. and when it's flying we got those flash bombs to knock it out of the sky, right? Yep. Ruin his eyes. Get the eyes. Mm -hmm. Sand in his eyes and it drops down and obviously you can get some free hits. That was probably like the thing that made it a lot easier for us is just exploiting the elemental weakness and uh, making sure that you, when it goes up into the air, if it's not enraged, that you flash it and then it will just drop down. It's not going to be hitting those megaton moves that are going to be hitting you and uh, just destroying you. So definitely mm -hmm. make use of your flash bombs and they're quite easy to make actually. So yeah. And chop the tail of Gold yeah. Rathian, because if you chop the tail off, you'll get a knockdown, which will give you a free turn of uh, critical hits, or even two free turns if you time it right by doing this, the fastest monster doing the first hit to break, yeah. which is another good thing to do. So definitely bring your do that. thunder what was the weapons. Bring thunder, your thunder, that was it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, okay. But I think the kit, is it the Kirin greatsword is like a really good like chonky thunder weapon as well um but let's move over to silver rathalos as i just said weak to water this time so you want your water weapons like your cold taroth weapons i had i had really uh, a good time with my cold taroth greatsword which has big water damage uh but the interesting thing about silver rathalos is that it starts off as speed right is it speed i can't even remember this guy was like mm -hmm. All over the place. <laughs> All I remember is, guys, once he's in the air, watch out for it being tech. There's rare chances when a monster is a in the air and it usually uses tech. So that's the one that's going to really throw you off. And actually, if you're going into there for the first time, uh, not necessarily know that. So if it's in the air, use your power moves and uh, use your flashbangs and bring this one down to the ground at least because it will follow up with a lot of moves that throw burns and uh kind of just kill you in one shot basically so definitely something to be wary of as you go into mm -hmm. the fight lots of aoe moves that really hurt even when he like before it's enraged so th saving up your 
Uh, Kinship Bar to do things like Evasion Rift when it's not targeting anyone is going to be a really good thing to do. It was definitely speed at the start of battle, but it did like erratically change throughout the battle, so it will sort of keep you on your toes there. I recommend bringing lots of Ancient Potions, uh, Vital Essences, because you will be getting one shot occasionally. Uh, and I will also say that when it powers up, that is a time to do your Evasion Rift, because it's going to do a huge damaging uh, single target or AoE attack. So make sure you're on your toes when it does focus power. Yeah. Uh, but that's, and, and again, make sure you flash it if it's in the sky. I think it only, the, the actual debuff only applies once, but you can drop it out the sky with another flash bomb later. I'm pretty sure that's what we did. Yeah. Um, we but silver, I would say, was harder than gold. It yeah. definitely hit harder. That's just because there's no real, like, sick, sick water monsters that can hit as hard uh, as the thunder monsters. But I will say one of the things that we use utilize if you're in there with a buddy and you're not solo then you can use your kinship to kind of stall those aoe moves as well just by throwing them out if you do your kinship obviously it doesn't it makes the monster not do their move as well so that's going to buy you some time and uh, put some damage onto that monster 100 percent. so basically there's our tips there's our farming cheese with going in with your sr ticket and leaving after doing the first three eggs no fighting needed but I want to briefly talk about the roadmap because this is the last thing on the roadmap, right? We've had a really good run so far. Lots of new monsters have been added in. I think we've, we, I think we've all got our money's worth, to be honest. Like this was a very impressive roadmap. It's sad to see it end. Uh, are, are you holding? Are you holding out hope for another roadmap? I don't even know, man. Like Capcom, when they come to dropping content and just doing stuff that people don't expect, they do it all the time. So. <laughs> it is what it is man if they give us some stuff <laughs> i'm gonna be happy with it uh if they don't then like i had a brilliant experience with the whole game i know i don't am i the only one who feels like that like you guys can let us know but i feel like i got my money's worth like for where it is like i enjoyed it man it was a sick game we got i got to play a you know i kind of wanted this game since i was a kid like a co-op rpg where i can play turn-based battles with the homie it was mm -hmm. sick it was sick cool animations like we got the kinship yeah. moves like this was such a great game i yeah i shed a tear that the roadmap's over <laughs> i hold out hope that there's more content on the horizon but we'll have to wait and see yeah. uh i'm really interested to know let me know in the comments what do you guys think do you think that we're gonna get like another roadmap or more stuff in stories i'm really keen to hear what you guys think in the comments down below and of course drop a like and subscribe as well we have lots of stories too content on the channel if you're new to stories too uh and i think i i might i might make a build video for for silver or gold uh wrathy and rathalos uh I'll, I'll see how i'm feeling because it might be a nice uh a nice close to the chapter of stories too we'll have to wait and see if we get more content then I'll, I'll be there you guys know you guys know us uh but two six what is out on your channel so obviously, as I spoke about before, we're going to go through all the genes as well. Talking about building your monster, that's probably the video to watch which genes you're going to really want to take off or put on or change around uh, for your monsters and stuff like that. So definitely head over there if you haven't already. Definitely. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you're staying safe and having a good day. And that's it from us. So we'll see you guys next time. Howdy doody. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. You can check me out over on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Paradise Central. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.